side of Duryodhan. No war was there because Duryodhan was fighting on the power of Vishwam Pitama that he is in our side. Dronacharya means his side. If Vishwam Pitama has told that I will not fight, then no war. So, Vishwam Pitama, you should know a history. In Mahabharata, it is written that when fight was beginning and Maharaj Visham Pitama has promised to kill ten thousand Rathi eh? warriors. I will kill. And he was doing. Arjun was very much, very important. But he still, Pandavas are not were controlled by Kauravas. Then Dujadhan went to Visham Pitama. O oh, Pitama, we had very strong faith on you. You are fighting, but you are fighting only to show you are really, uh, your heart is uh, with Pandavas. You don't want that they should be defeated or they should be killed. Otherwise you have killed first day. Then Vesha Pitama told you, you are wrong. I am fighting and fighting for you. Don't worry for me. Have belief for me. Tomorrow I will try to kill them. Today, after war, in the midnight, you should come with your wife. I will give them injection that it, oh, you will be victorious in this battle. And then, positively you should come. But from, or even like here, or two days ago, heavy rain continues whole day. Very windy, very cold, and so much uh, thunderbolts coming. So Duryodhana told his wife, "Oh, I know that you are ready, but today we should postpone and postpone, and we will go next day." And here, here, Krishna called Draupadi, Sakhi. You will have to come with me to Visham Pitama in midnight. You should cover your head with your belt and come with me and then I will go to the camp of Visham Pitama and he did so with umbrella and she was sent to Visham Pitama. Krishna was waiting on, sitting on the chair here. Visham Pitami was in, in trance of Krishna. In the meantime, Draupadi went there. And he did pranam and with a bell on his mouth, hiding herself, his mouth, and she sat down. But anyhow, Visham Pitama again came from the trance. No! Oh, wife of Duryodhan. Oh, oh, you have come. Akhand so bhagavati bhav. And you should be victorious as your long life. Anyone cannot kill him. And then dropped this smile and took his her bed. Oh, Draupadi, you, how you get? Who brought you? Oh, I know that the trick he has, pretty person has brought him. And then he began to smile. And then he went to Krishna and prayed to come and he came. And he was praying so much in the Lord's feet. So, Vishan Pitama, though he was fighting uh, for um, Kaurava, but he was always in the side of 
Pandava. So he is Bhakta. But how, what kind of Bhakta? Yet he knows the appearances of Krishna. How Krishna, he can show Vishwarupa in his mouth. He can, in a second, he can destroy all these whole armies. He knew. So, Visham Pitame is. Oh, Visham Pitame is thinking because he is Gyanim Bhakta. Though I am, as Pranath Mar was given heavy poison, strong poison, he was given to ocean and thrown from the hills and mountains, but he was alive. So, poison cannot touch Krishna. How can touch my, this uh, arrows to Krishna? They cannot touch. So he used to give to. Of oh, arrows and fighting Krishna. So, even he is Jnani Bhakti, but not pure Bhakti. Though Ambarish Maharaj is not liberated, but from beginning this sadhana, he is getting his all senses in the service of Krishna. Like in, has been told in Definition Anna Vilasita Sunyam Gyan Karmatyanabritam Anukulena Krishna Nushilanam Bhakti Nuttama He used to do pranam with his head. Mana Krishna Padaravindya. You know this is Lok Prabhu, Brajina, what you Madhamara. Oh. You know? If you know, you can stand up and say. What is the meaning? It's not but love. Shurun Mirgam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Veena Maha. Ambarish Maharaj, he engaged all his senses in Krishna's service. So, um, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Sparanam, Pada Sevanam, Archanam, Bandanam, Dasyam, Sakhyam, Atmani Vedanam. There are the ninefold devotion service. <coughs> and uh, so Ambarish Maharaj used his ears to hear the glories of Krishna. He used his tongue to glorify, to do the Kirtan of Lord Krishna. And he used his mind to remember. Krishna in his pastimes and use his hands to uh, clean the temple of Krishna, Karo Hare Mandir Marjanadishi. And he used to always offer obeisances to Lord Krishna. He used to do the deity worship of Lord Krishna, Radha Krishna, and uh, uh, he was Sakyam Atmani Vedana. He also very um, uh, very high level of devotional service to Krishna, Sakyam, and he offered everything he had to Krishna, the Atma Niveda. And he did this in the Mathura Dham, Mathura Mandal, and uh, he was of um, high class sadhak, and uh, he was even more than. Um, even more than uh, Prahlad Maharaj, because Prahlad Maharaj, when he saw Lord Nushingadev, he never thought that uh, Nushingadev is thirsty, he has just killed a demon, and he needs his, his, he may be tired, he had to do a big fight, and his feet need to be massaged. So, Prahlad Maharaj, being a Gyani Bhakta, he had, uh, uh, he couldn't serve the Lord. Though, he loved the Lord. So, uh, however, Ambarish Maharaj, he was, uh, you know, higher than uh, Prahlad Maharaj, and he was fully serving the Lord in all the possible ways, and he is the perfect example of this uh, nine types of devotional services. Yeah, Durvasa Muni was, 
Durvasa Muni is, uh, is a high class of a yogi and he is incarnation of God Shiva. So he is, uh, he wanted to exhibit to the entire world that the glories of Sri Ambarish Maharaj. So Ambarish Maharaj actually uh, was performing Ekadashi and he was performing the Ekadashi without uh, eating anything, not even a grain. He would be not even sleeping. He would be completely even <coughs> devoid of water. Devoid of water. He observed Mircha Ekadashi, which was um, without, you know, and without even sleeping in the night. So no water, no grains, no fruits, nothing. And not even sleeping at all. So entire night remembering, day and night remembering the Lord. And the Ekadashi has to be broken at a particular time that's called Paran. And uh, that time, <clears throat> Durvas Muni, he actually appeared with his many disciples. And he actually said that I want to go to bathe in the Jamuna River and I will be back. Um, and he left. So Ambarish Maharaj, he waited upon uh, Durvas Muni to come back with his disciples so that they could have some prasad together and break the fast. So first he wanted to serve this high class of a Brahman and uh, then take prasad himself. He, he was not very willing to take prasad before Durvas came. But Durvas knowingly no, he Durvas, Durvasa, 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 he knowingly delayed to come uh, from Jamuna. And so he, he consulted his priest, what should I do? So he said, the priest said that if you have taken Mirja Lekadashi, then you can um, drink some water. And drinking water is considered breaking the fast and not breaking the fast. Not ordinary water. It was the Charanamrita of the Lord. It was the Charanamrita of the Lord. So it was uh, uh, offered to the, the, the food bath water of the Lord Krishna. It was to be drunk. And uh, so he took some drops, only a few drops of Charanamrita and he broke his fast. And uh, Durvas Muni immediately came. And he came and he became very furious. And he took only one hair like this and he hid on the ground and immediately came out a big Rakshasi like that. And she she came and she attacked um, she attacked Ambarish Maharaj. And as she was going to attack Ambarish Maharaj, Lord Narayan Sudarshan Chakra came and chopped up the head of this Rakshasi, this demoness, and he started chasing Durvasa. He started chasing Durvasa and Durvasa at at once he ran to uh, Brahmaji, Brahma Loka, where Lord four headed Brahma is there. And Brahma said, I cannot help you. You should go away from here immediately because this Lushan Chakra is chasing you. It is beyond my powers. And uh, I cannot protect you. So then he went to Rudra Loka and Shiva Loka, where Lord Shiva was there. And Lord Shiva said, I cannot protect you. You, I cannot help you at all. You should go to Narayan. And then he was was so powerful that he at once went to the Lord Narayan's Loka. And there Lord Narayan was there. And Lord Narayan also told him that my, my dear Duruvas, this Lushan Chakra is my weapon. But it is Aham Bhakta Paradhi. That I am completely dependent on my devotee's wish. Whatever my devotees, you know, you must, you have offended the devotee. So you must try to beg forgiveness from the same devotee. I cannot help you. So <clears throat> essentially the devotee who was offended, then he should be pacified. So immediately Durvas, he came and behind him, the Sudarshan, Sudarshan Chakra was burning him. There was so much heat coming from Sudarshan that uh, he couldn't tolerate it. Though he was the highest class of yogi. So he immediately flew down, he came to where <clears throat> Ambarish Maharaj was doing sadhana and bhajan and he fell at his feet and immediately said, please forgive me, this Sudarshan Chakra is burning me. So immediately Ambarish Maharaj, in a very choice words, he offered prayers to this Sudarshan Chakra. 
said, Oh, my dear Sudarshan Chakra, you are at high class of a Vaishnava. You should immediately, uh, if you are happy with me, you should not chase this yogi who is a high class of a Brahman and worshipable for me. Please forgive me. When Ambarish Maharaj had offered this high class of prayers to the Sudarshan, who is uh, the weapon of Narayan, the Sudarshan Chakra left uh, um, Durvasa and, and disappeared. So, <clears throat> this was only done by Durvasa to glorify the Ambarish Maharaj that if someone offends a high class of a Vaishnava, then one must immediately try to beg forgiveness from that Vaishnava. Unless that Vaishnava forgives, then you will you, you'll not be liberated from uh, the consequences of the Vaishnava Prabh. If you fall on the ground, if you slip at the ground, the same ground you have to take and you have to get up. If I sleep from this place, I cannot go to that place and get up. You should immediately try to pacify the same Vaishnava. So this is the glories of uh, Ambarish Maharaj, the, uh, the best Sahajans. Hare Can Durvasa run fast, faster than Chakra? No, no. Why he was escaped? He moved the whole world, Brahma Lok, Vishnu Lok, Rudra Lok. But why Chakra was not burned? Because really he wanted to glorify Ambarish Maharaj from the core of his heart. So he was not burned. Second thing, Maharaj Ambarish was not liberated. Prahlad is, Maharaj is so superior that Prahlad Ambarish Maharaj. He is a sadhak, but he still, his bhakti is so pure. Why? Maharaj and Baris, like Pranath Maharaj, I don't know whether he came to Vrindavan or not. And Ambarish Maharaj, he has one of his seats in Vrindavan, Mathura, on the bank of Jamuna. And he used to do oh, Parajmanda Parikrama, he used to go to Nandana Varsana, Rasas Thari Bhandir Ban, Bansi Bhattani, Giraj Govardhan. So he is more superior than even liberated. So he is pure Bhakta. Why pure Bhakta? No Bhakta. No Gyan. They are controlled. And also, no Anna Vilashita, nothing. But still his bhakti wants something more. Only this is not a high class of service to Krishna, Kanjusha. So we will have to come to oh, Premi Bhakta. Who is that? Who is uh, Hanma? How is glorious? Madhamara will explain something. In brief, <laughs> not two hours. <laughs> I'm telling so many life history of so many devotees. Why? That you should choose according to your heart. To whom you want to follow. And really, when I will stop uh, this prasanga, prasanga, then you should choose that what you like, what you want to like to follow whom you should decide. Come on. Chakchu nur milikam jena tasmai sri gurari namaha Lancha kalpaturu bhascha kripasindu bhaivacha Patitanam bhavanibho bhascha bho namo namaha 
So, Srila so Gurudeva ordered me discuss about Prani Bhakta. At first, we have to know who is Prani Bhakta, who has Prem in his soul, they are Prani Bhakta. And sharpened by his own senses. All senses, all organs. Without any broad bread, like honey. So then you have to know what is brain, you have to surrender yourself. The Lotus Sutra of Sarudra Sahipad is defined in his scripture, Bhuktiya Samita Sindhu, Sammagma Srinita Santo, Mamataji Sayangita, Bhava Saiva Sangatma Buddha Ivemani Gaddate. That when your heart is completely smooth, why due to Mamata, possessiveness? This Lord is mine. I have to serve Him. I have to please Him. When this minus will come too much, then the bhav, the rope will transfer into plane. When the bhav will condense too much, and this idea is there, then it transfer into plane. So if this idea was in Hanumanji of Lord Ram, he always ending the service of Lord Ram. He never married. Why? If he married, then his attachment will go for war, for his wife, for his kids, this and that. So he never married. He never married. And always he engaged himself in service of Ram. 24 hours. 24 hours without any break. If we give some example, then you can understand what kind of service he is rendering. When Lord Ram, though Bhagavan can do anything in a moment, but Lord Ram incarnate this world to bestow his master the whole world. So he is performing human being pastimes. So his eternal potency, Lord Sita, was stolen by kidnapped by demon Ravan. So being human being human being pastimes of her, performing human being pastimes, Lord Ram could understand where is my wife? Why is my potency Sita Devi? Why? due to influence of Jogmaya Devi. So then he made friendship, made friendship with Sukrim. Then Sukrim sent his armies here and there. So Hanuman went to search Sita Devi. He never seen Sita Devi. So Lord Ram gave one ring. Oh, he has ring then he can see this is the symptom of Sita Devi. He went to the kingdom of Kyaman Ravan and he found Sita Devi and told, Oh mother, you can climb on my back, I shall flew from here to Lord Ram. No, not possible. Without my desire somebody touch me. But I could not touch any other person. Only when your Prabhu will come, then I shall go with him only, not other person. So Lord Hanuman became very angry. Why? Even Ravan kidnapped my mother. Okay, I shall test for the whole Lanka. At first, Ravan sent his sons to fight against Hanumanji. They did so, they fell here. Then Ravan sent to Meghnath. And Meghnath by Brahmastra bind Hanumanji. Hanuman had own benediction. He can be bind by Brahmastra, but can lead up there by himself without any help. So then they thought, oh, we shall put fire in Hanuman tail because the tail is very near and dear. <laughs> they put fire. Hanuman ran all over Lanka and destroyed the whole Lanka because demon Ravan kidnapped his mother Sita Devi. Like Vindavan Dasaku told, pari hare jai pati ninda kare, tare rathi marotar sriyari kare. Here in the glory of Sima Nittananda Prabhu, if someone still criticizes Nittananda Prabhu, I shall kick on his, on his head. In the same way, Hanuman did this. This is their texting Vaisnava, this is Vaisnavata. Then when Sita Devi came back from Lanka with Ramon, Lord Ram, one day, Sita Devi was putting watermelon on his on her head. Hanuman came, Mother, what are you doing? Sita Devi told, my dear son, I am putting sindur on my head. Why so? Your father will long life. Oh, really? Oh, yes. 
Then she died after dressing herself when to royal assembly. As soon as Sita Devi got out from her dressing room, Hanuman entered in that room and took the all sindur mixed with oil and smeared his whole body top to bottom and became completely red and went to assembly. Seeing this, Sita Devi covered her face began to smile. She understood. And Lord Ram told Hanuman, what you did? <laughs> then he told, if my mother put little sindur here, then you long line. So I put all, all sindur and put my whole body in a long, long, long line. So still you can see Hanuman every year with the red color. This is how much love he has for this Prabhu. When Lord Ram came back from Lanka, in conquering uh, Ravana, then he was donating some gold, some ornaments to everyone. At last, Lord Ram thought, what shall I give to Hanuman? Then he looked towards Sita Devi. Sita Devi has one very, very valuable, expensive necklace. So it's very rare that kind of necklace. So she took it off and handed over to Lord Ram. The Lord Ram gave to Hanuman. In his neck. And on his neck, Hanuman took off and taking one after another jewel and crushing by his teeth. Everybody was surprised. Oh, Lord Ram and Sita Devi mercifully gave so expensive necklace and he crushing one after another jewel. What is the cause? Then Lord Ram told Hanuman, What are you doing? Nonsense thing. No Prabhu, I am watching if my Prabhu's name is there or not. So I crash one, could not find your name. I crash second one, could not, so I am crashing and throwing. So have Ramna in your heart for a yes. Then he put his nail and tear his breast and so chest and so the whole world in every pore of his body, Ram, 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 Ram coming out. Then everyone then understood how Hanuman is glorified, how he is near and dear to Lord Ram. By this way, he is serving Lord Ram. So one day, Sita Devi, Lakshman, Bhada, Sadhguna, they held a meeting. Oh, we want to render some services. Always this monkey taking all chances. So from tomorrow, we shall divide our all services. We should not give any chance to this monkey one. Okay. So Sita Devi will serve night time. And other three brothers, they will serve daytime. They give, they give this resolution. Hanuman came, they told, we have no service for you. Hanuman begged, oh, give me any menial service. Otherwise, how I can survive my life? Then they told, no, 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 no service left over. You serve enough. And okay, then I can take only one service. Then the what service? When Lord Ramchandran yearn, then I shall click. Then the okay, because they know, whole world know, whole world never yearn. Because due to tiredness or laziness. So it's not impossible in Bhagavan. They are okay. And they not allow him to be in the royal palace. One man went out of the royal palace, sitting on the tree, is clicking. Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Siya Ram. His mind chanting and clicking. And Lord Ramchandra, yearning after yearning non-stop. Like we have heard from Sundar Pal Prabhu in the definition of Onna Vilasa Sunnam. The honey pouring from jar without any bread. If you pour water and bread, the honey no bread. In the same way, Hanuman is doing Jai Ram, Jai Ram and clicking. So they could not render any service. Then thought, this must mischief done by that monkey one. <laughs> then they came to Hanuman, oh Hanuman, what are you doing? We could not serve anything, not eating, nothing, only yoni yoni. Hanuman told, what can I do? Only you left over this menial service for me. So I have nothing to do anymore on this thing. So what, how I can know? Where will you eat here? because I am out of palace, so I don't want to miss my chance, so I am always doing this. So, 
they came to Ram, then they again compromised. Lord Ram told, let him serve as, soon, as well he was serving. Then they did so, and Ram Chandra, Lord Ram Chandra came in, in normal position. Lord Ram Chandra saw this, how Hanuman is near and dear to him. Because Bhagavan told, Aham Bhakta Paradhi, no. I am controlled completely by my devotee. So Lord Ram Chandra, how controlled by his devotee, he saw to Hanuman. Because Hanuman is very Bhakta. And when Lord Ram invaded Lanka, Ravan had very big castle. Lord Ravan, and Lord Ram is nothing. Hanumanji, by his tail, made a very big castle. Moreover, he became guard there. The none can any enemy cannot enter in this castle. By this way, he saw Lord Ram. Who is Hanuman? Sometimes he carried Lord Ram and Lakshman on his shoulder. And during Ramayana battle in Meghnath, Titan Lord Ram and Lakshman by straight rope. And there is some time. In this period, if no snake will not be taken off, then anyone can die. Everyone is thinking, what to do, what to do? Immediately, Hanuman flew to Vaikuntha planet and told Garurji, he had to come and to serve Lord Ram. When everyone thinks, where is Hanuman? They are searching, none can find. After some time, Hanuman came down along with Garurji. As soon as snake get the smell of Garur, they ran away. Mm -hmm. Ramchandra and Lakshman, they came in normal position. They were Bhagavan, but they are performing human being first time. Another time, Meghna shoot Lakshman by herself, that none can save Lakshman. Lord Ram is weeping so bitterly. How I can show my face to Ajatavasi? So my mother, Kausar Lasunit Takai Kei. They will tell you give up Lakshman. Then Hanumanji went to, he consulted with Vivisan. Vivisan the only one person in Lanka by the Ayurvedic doctor Susan. If he helps and before sunrise, then it is possible. Hanuman went to Susan by the and he told Ali Susan, well, yes, well, what to do? Let us go, where? Then he took up, up to his house and came to Lord Ram. So, what had been? Then he told the whole story. But he was in confusion, he didn't know what to do. Maybe some make him understand. Hanuman did the right thing. You are already with the doctor. You should not take any side. He is my enemy, he is my friend, he is my foe. Not like this. Then he told, yes, you have to go to Himalaya. <coughs> and have to bring some horse. By that, he can alive, otherwise not possible. And one condition, have to bring, have to come back before sunrise. If sun will rise, then none can make him life anymore. And one, okay, one, one flew from there, and he went to Himalaya, in the midway, there is one demon, want to make him stop. Then he went to Himalaya, the, the followers of Ravan, they make all hearts lightning. Hanuman could not understand. He uprooted that Parva, Dandamadan, and came back. By that they make some paste, and smear the Lakshman, Lakshman body and drink some, drank him some medicine, Sanjivani body, then he came in life. Here also, Hanuman is serving Ram and Lakshman. By this way, Always is serving. And when Lord Ram invaded Lanka, the main part was of main role was Hanuman to make that bridge. In so many ways from beginning of his life, he served Lord Ram. Even when Lord Ram disappeared from this world, he told Hanuman, you have to be in this world, you have to serve, you have to preach my mission. Though he was so unhappy, but due to fulfill his master's desire, he has so much love for his master, he is my own. So he could not deny that. So he, being in this world, still is serving Lord Ram. Whenever Harikatha will be gone, he must be there in any form. Though he could not understand, he not even come in monkey form, any other form will come and must listen to Harikatha. So we pray Hanumanji, he restore his mercy, and then we can. Advancing Krishna consciousness, 
and we want to serve his master who are not in own reference mood. What is his Madhurita mood? And Pratbhasi is serving. We want to serve the like Guru is serving in the same mood we want to serve. So we want this uh, beautiful Hanumanji that he must give his uh, mercy that he can serve divine couple like Guru is serving. Hare Krishna. Bansha Kanda Kharika now, Rama Now, you have heard about Ram. He was Premi Bhakta. Continuous flow like much honey. Always serving day and night. With his each breath coming and going, he was serving. In dream too, he used to serve. But can he embrace Ram or not? He can, can he give any remnant to Krishna? Can he use, abuse Krishna? Never. So, he wants to embrace Ram. He wants to kiss Ram. He wants to give some very testful remnants. But he cannot be. Next day, we will tell Premartu Bhakta more than him. Premper Bhakta, Pandaman, more superior than Serving Krishna in so many ways more than Hanuman, Hanuman cannot. Embracing even Krishna is serving Pandaman. So tomorrow we will be Only two days are left. We will try to finish, otherwise it will take so many days, uh, at least ten days to explain, but I will explain it in two days. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, and one, uh, what name? Uh, you should sing with your wife. Do you want? Do you are ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? He and his wife. Photographer. Photographer. Oh, then. Where are two sisters? Two sisters. Oh. Then Krishna Ra. Ten years ago.